Dear students, I'm going to present to you the concept of the joint cumulative distribution function. ये concept कब arise होता है? ये तब arise होता है जब हम एक अक्लोते variable के साथ deal नहीं कर रहे होते, बल्कि दो, तीन, चार या इससे भी ज़्यादा. So we are actually dealing with a multivariate or a multivariate situation. Um, given the random variables x1, x2, and so on, that are defined on a probability space, the joint probability distribution for these variables is a probability distribution that gives us the probability of each of these variables falling in any particular range. May the variables be discrete or may they be continuous. ये जो बाजार बड़ा complicated महसूस हो रहा है, इसको simplify कर लेते हैं. Let us concentrate on that case when we have only two variables, x1 and x2. In this particular case, we will say that we are dealing with a bivariate distribution because obviously, अगर दो हैं तो बाय का जो लव्स है, that stands for two. और उसके बाद अगली बात ये है कि ये जो joint distribution है, that can be expressed either in terms of a joint cumulative distribution function, which can also be called a joint CDF, or it can be expressed in terms of a joint probability density function, of course, if, if the variables are continuous, or a joint probability mass function if the variables are discrete. So, uh, students, let us focus on the joint cumulative distribution function. And what is the formal definition if we have two variables? The definition is as follows. The capital F of the random variables, capital X1 and capital X2, defined at the values small x1 and small x2, this capital F is equal to the probability that the random variable capital X1 assumes a value less than or equal to small x1 and the random variable capital X2 assumes a value less than or equal to small x2. For all values, all ordered pairs, small x1 comma small x2 that are defined on the two-dimensional Euclidean space R square. Achai, jo kuch mene kaha, shayad aapko bhoat complicated laga. Halanke, it is very simple. Jab we uh, and aap kehte hain, to usko algebraically ya mathematically jab express karte hain, to aap jante hain ki hum intersection istamal karte hain. Intersection sign wahan pe apply ho jata hai. So that is why what you see on the screen that carries the intersection sign, whereas when I said it, I said and. Dusri baat ye hai ki jis vakt aap univariate situation hoti hai, aur aap simply capital F of X keh rahe hoti hai, to wo kya hoti hai? Wo bhi to yehi hoti hai na, ki the probability of the random variable capital X being less than or equal to the value small x. लेकिन उसके साथ भी तो आप ये जुमला बोलते हैं ना कि for all x belonging to R जाहिर है कि जब वो एक है तो हम R की बात करते हैं यानी the real line जिसको हम x axis भी कह सकते हैं but if there are two then obviously ordered pair बनेगा x1 x2 so it will not be just the line it will be the two-dimensional plane, which is two-dimensional Euclidean space. So it's quite simple. It's just a, a natural extension of the concept 
of the cumulative distribution function in the case of one single variable. Ab iske baad aap ye note kare ki ye jo hum keh rahe hain ki capital X1 is less than or equal to small x1 and capital X2 is less than or equal to small x2 to isko we can say that this is the this is a joint event yani do events alag alag to hum tab kehte ki agar hum unse alag alag deal karna cha rahe hote lekin agar hum ikatthe unko karke baat kar rahe hain to goya hum um, joint event ki baat kar rahe hain aur iske baad ek main aapko bahut important result jo ke mathematically derive ho chuka hai uh, cumulative distribution function ke bare mein wo uh, share karna chahti hu and i am talking about that case only when we have uh, two variables yani the simplest possible multivariate situation when we do not have 3 4 5 but only two variables so what is this result my dear students that i would like to share with you it is as follows the probability that a1 is less than x1 and x1 is less than or equal to b1 where a1 and b1 are two real numbers and a2 being less than x2 and x2 being less than or equal to b2 where a2 and b2 are two other real numbers this probability is given by capital f of x1 x2 at the point b1 b2 minus capital f of x1 x2 at the point a1 b2 minus capital f of x1 x2 at the point b1 a2 plus capital f of x1 x2 at the point a1 a2 um iski jo detail hai wo aap baad mein isko take up kar lenge lekin abhi aap ye note kare ki ye jo kuch bhi maine kaha hai na this is basically the probability of your x1 lying in the range a1 to b1 and your x2 lying in the range a2 to b2 ye jo and main keh rahi hu उसको इंटरसेक्शन से भी डिनोट कर सकते हैं बट ऑल्सो स्टूडेंट्स दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी डिनोटेड बाय अ कॉमा अक्सर आपने देखा होगा कि कॉमा डाला जाता है और उसका मफूम इस कॉन्टेक्स में जो हम इस वक्त डिस्कस कर रहे हैं इट मींस एंड अब ये जो नंबर्स हैं ए वन टू बी वन जो लिमिट्स दे दी गई हैं फॉर द रैंडम वेरेबल एक्स और जो नंबर्स हैं ए टू बी टू जो दूसरे के लिए हैं इसमें ऑब्वियस है कि ए वन इज स्मॉलर देन बी वन एंड ए टू इज स्मॉलर देन बी टू तो अब वो जो कैपिटल एफ की फॉर्म में जो आपको एक फार्मूला जो दिया है उसको अब याद कैसे रखेंगे हम लोग उसको इस तरह याद रखेंगे कि पहला जो मैंने कहा एफ ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू एट द पॉइंट बी वन बी टू तो वो जो अपर लिमिट है उसकी बाई बी वन और दूसरे की बी टू दैट्स द वन फिर जब माइनस कर रहे हैं दो दफ़ा एक दफ़ा ए वन बी टू और दूसरी दफ़ा बी वन ए टू और फिर जब एंड में प्लस कर रहे हैं अब उसके अंदर है ए वन और ए टू यानी उन दोनों वेरिएबल्स के लिए जो लिमिट्स डिफाइन की गई वो जो लोअर लिमिट है ए वन एक्स वन के लिए or low limit for x2 i am just giving you a tip as to how to um remember this particular formula so this entire discussion that i have just done with you this is the concept of the cumulative distribution function